Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Linda. Here on this channel, I share videos about sewing, pattern drafting, and everything fashion in general. On today's tutorial, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make this structured to the applique. If this seems like what you're interested in, you might definitely want to hit the subscribe button. Relax and let's begin. So guys, we're going to need the following items. We have our hemming gum, we have our soldering lead, we have our scissors, and also we have our mesh net. It's called the crinoline mesh net. Okay, so you can go ahead and look for it. It's just like crinoline and it's very stiff and also comes in different colors and texture. And then we have our fabric. We are going to be cutting out this pattern on our fabric. Okay, we are going to be making use of the pattern. First of all, you need to plug your soldering lead. So just plug it and let it get ready. And then we're going to set these things aside and continue. Next, I'll just go ahead and cut out my patterns roughly with my scissors first of all. But while we are waiting for our soldering lead, it's best to cut it out with scissors first of all, okay? So in case you have a larger amount of fabric. And now the next thing, just to go ahead and carefully trace out the lines on the pattern. While you are tracing out the lines, ensure that you follow it properly and also avoid getting yourself burnt because this tool right here is very dangerous. Okay, so just gently go ahead, take your time and trace this out very well like I am doing. You can use any choice of your fabric provided that it has patterns on it, okay? It may be lace, it may be sequins or any kind of material that has a nice pattern on it. I already went ahead to cut out another pattern from another fabric. So the next step is to apply our hemming gum to the wrong side of our fabric. Ensure that you are applying this on the wrong side, please. So I'll be setting this aside and I'll be working with my main pattern for the purpose of this tutorial. So I just brought out my hemming gum and I deposited it bit by bit on the wrong side of the pattern. So guys, when placing your hemming gum, ensure that you cover at least 90% of the pattern okay just go ahead and lay them carefully one after the other like i am doing the reason why i use hemming gum is because it creates a bond between two different materials it's just like bringing two love birds together in that case whatever hemming gum has joined together no teller shall put asunder on a serious note hemming gum is the best to use in this process my love for hemming gum can never be overemphasized and that is it for the hemming gun. The next thing we are going to do right now is to bring our mesh net and then place it on top of this like so. When ironing this, you make sure your iron is very hot and also don't forget to place a thin layer of paper on top of this before ironing it out. And this is what I have after I was done pressing it. And then the next thing is to just go ahead and also trace out the net and cut it out with my soldering lead. So guys, just in case you don't have a soldering lead, I recommend you use a scissors to carefully trace this out. Then afterwards, you use your lighter to burn the corners to get a perfect trim for the pattern. But I recommend you use your soldering lead because it's the best item to use for this process. Now that I am done cutting this out, I'm just going to carefully design this. It's a thing of choice. If you want, you can leave it plain like this. But then I always like to design my stuffs. So I'll just go ahead and design it off camera with my stones. And then this is what I have after I was done doing. So this is how beautiful and nice it is looking. I also went ahead to do the same thing to the other pattern. You can see how bouncy and strong they are. So just go ahead and follow the shape of your pattern or you can as well design it according to your own taste. And then you have your 2D applique which is flat and doesn't have any dimension. Just flat, okay? You can view it just from the front. This is the difference between the plain one that has not been structured and the one that has been structured. So this is the process you can take to design your patterns before applying them or attaching them to your dress or your outfits it's all about the designs and how creative you are so this is what i have for my two patterns and then that is the end of our tutorial if you like this video kindly give me a thumbs up and tell me what you think in the description box also don't forget to subscribe and share this video to the people that might like to see it and then i'll see you guys in my next video bye for now